In sports, many decisions have been questioned when it comes to refereeing, Tim Donahue being the most egregious example in the NBA. We had this discussion about how this is affecting the game, how it's affecting people's appreciation of the game, and people's respect of the game. In the National Football League, referees went on strike in 2012. The league had replacement reps, and it didn't go well at all. The local level may be more immune than any. Stretch that baby. There we go. Give it a good pull. And violence, defense. Wow. Oh, no. What? Check this out. What do you think is the answer here? Like, what do you think needs to change in order for this this awful thing to stop happening year after year? This doesn't exclude the Olympics. In 2002, the judges gifted the Russians the gold medal, winning their 11th straight in figure skating pairs, while shafting Canada's Jamie Saleh and David Peltier. It was a huge scandal at the time. Prosecutors are investigating payments made to a company owned by the then vice president of Spanish football's refereeing committee. That's payments made by Barcelona. But in the world's game, with one of the world's most notable clubs, this is more than a scandal to many. It is earth shattering. This whole thing emerged as part of a tax investigation. Uh, these payments stretching back across two decades or more than two decades, <laughs> They total more than 7 million euros to this individual. That individual is this man, Jose Maria Enriquez Negrera. Barcelona say that, oh, well, we were simply paying this guy um, because as a former referee, uh, he, he gave us technical advice, showed us examples with the rules. Uh, you know, basically a consultant for referees, which is not uncommon. I mean, Real Madrid have a guy who does it too. The big difference here is that uh, the guy who does it for Real Madrid is not an active referee. This guy is actually on the referees committee. Bingo! This is not just a difference, it's night and day. Enriquez Negrera, pictured, owns an entity named DASNIL95SL. He is a former referee and important member of Spain's Referee Technical Committee. This all went down because the prosecutor's office in Barcelona investigated DASNIL for corruption between individuals, according to the report. It started because of a treasury inspection into tax irregularities with the payments. I don't think you should be paying anybody that's involved with the domestic league that you're performing as a player or as a club. What rang the alarm was Negrera allegedly did not provide receipts of payments he provided as a service to the Catalan club. The club did admit they'd employed an external consultant who provided reports related to professional refereeing before condemning the timing of the story, which came out prior to Barcelona's clash with Manchester United in the Europa League. To reiterate, and we want to make this very, very clear, to show the polar opposites in Barcelona's alleged approach for their mishandling and other clubs. Because you see, via the Athletic, Real Madrid hiring Carlos Mejia de Villa or Getafe bringing out Manuel Mejuto Gonzalez, who refereed 236 games in the Spanish top flight, those differences are this. Negrera's relationship with Barca is the only case where payments were made by a club to an individual still working for the Spanish FA and in a position of real influence. Only recently did Barcelona's president choose to speak through the club's social media channels, not the press. Of no Barcelona, who during the aforementioned period of 2016 to 18 was run by a different individual who says that the practice of receiving these types of referee reports existed since at least 2003 and that it was stopped at one point for cost cutting reasons. But, and this is a, this is a big but, okay? As further reporting began to emerge, it did not escape attention that 2018, the year Barca stopped their payments to DASNIL, was the last year Enriquez Negrera worked in his role. The referee denies currying favors to Barcelona. Barcelona has denied all of the allegations that have come to light. On top of this, there is a massive cloud now hanging over the referees in La Liga, uh, Barcelona, one of the most powerful clubs in the world, the Spanish FA, and the referee in question, Negrera. Though Planet Football wrote, the spell in question between 16 and 18 was largely a success. 
especially on the domestic front. Between 15 to 16 and 17 to 18, the club won a total of eight trophies, including two league titles and three Copa del Reyes. Madrid-based publication Marca have noted that Barcelona went 746 days from February 14, 2016 to March 1, 2018 without a penalty being given against them. VAR was brought in shortly after this period. Some have brought up 2006 Juventus, that Barcelona could be relegated or potentially docked a ton of points in the first flight division. One source at the Spanish FA told The Athletic, it's going to be extremely difficult to prove how the club could have possibly benefited from refereeing.